What does it mean trading? Is it probability or mathematical expectation? Probability when trader attempt to forecast the future price movement based on the technical and fundamental analysis. Mathematic expectation when trader focus on uh, statistical probability that coming from historical data. It's more common in algo trading. But have you ever wondered if it's possible to combine these two methods, include some machine learning and neural networks and to build the powerful tool that will really give you chance to predict the future price, even the next bar or the next impulse. This is what I want to show you today in our video. So stay till the end and let's start. Before we dive into the strategy, let's quickly cover what a price bar or candle is. When we are opening our trading platform, we can find there a lot of price charts from different instruments. All charts, they are consist of different bars or candles. The difference between bar and candle is just individual part. This is it. So each bar on the price chart represents the price action or price movement for specific period that call time frames. And every candle give us four key price points: the opening price, the highest and lowest price reached, and the closed price. Imagine that we want to predict or forecast the next price bar. First of all, how? And the second question, do we need to know all four price point, open, high, low, close? I'm not sure that, that this is necessary because if we are going to trade the future bar, what for us the most important? This is the direction in which we should position and also distance that will go the price will go from opening price so we will know where to put the take profit and the stop loss and this is how we create concept of bar impulse the main idea of bar impulse was how to get the proper information from historical data and convert it to the information that will give us chance to do this kind of prediction. So for that, we create a simple formula, high minus open of the price and open of the price minus low. And this was straightforward way to measure the strength and direction of the price movement. As you can see, if the bar impulse is positive, the price tends to rise. If it's negative, the price tends to fall. This gives us a clear picture of what might happen next. But if we want to make a prediction, we decide to turn to the neural networks. Nowadays, it became very popular to use the words like uh, neural networks, artificial intelligence, of machine learning almost everywhere. It became more like a marketing than in reality. For example, I went for MQL5 website, market section, uh, put in the search AI, and I found around 190 trading bots that has in their names words AI. But believe me, more than 90% of them don't have any kind of relation to artificial intelligence at all. But why it's like that? Because still people, they don't understand what does it mean artificial intelligence and how it's working, all this neural network. In the simple terms, the neural network learn from past market behavior to make prediction about future price movement. It has different layers of information, different in layers of neurons. Input, this is information that you're uploading to it, that you want to, uh, the neural network will, will work with. Hidden layers where all magic happening and output, this is exactly the result. So in our case, in our indicator, because we call it in the indicator, neural bar impulse indicator, we were using the neural network called long short term memory or LSTM in the short way, which is perfect for analyzing data that change over the time. Guys, I don't want to tell you all the details about that, but if you want to know more, I will leave the link to a special article of my main programmer and you can read everything in details for us the most important to understand that we put information from major currency pairs indexes metals from 2001 and this network process millions of bars to learn the patterns and 
predict these future movements, what will happen. And as the result, we decide to create based on MQL5 programming language, we decide to create an indicator, you know, that I will show you right now. But if you want to get it, you can easily get it for free by opening account now partner Forex Broker Company. And you know, if you will find some logical strategies that I will really like, we will implement into the bot and I will give it to you for free. But right now I will show you our own vision, how you can use the information and convert it into the profit. So guys, in the end, I want to show you this indicator, how it's look like, how to install, and how you can trade, how you can use the signal from this indicator to convert it into the plus. So the first of all, how you can install it. We are opening file, open data folder, then MQL5 and indicator. So this file that you will get from me, you are copying and passed exactly in this folder. Then we're refreshing our terminal, but switching off and switching on. And then we will be able to see our indicator in navigator top. We are going for the indicators and then you see narrow bar inputs. The most important point here, this is the narrow model Forex. So because we were testing it and uh, educating a different kind of charts from different like history. And for the experienced trader, he will tell you that like Forex metals, indexes and crypto are totally different instruments. From the beginnings, everything looks like it's the same, but it depends what you want to trade. This kind of model you should choose. Let's take the Forex because currently I opened the Euro dollar and I will put like 0 0.5 to show you more different examples of the signal. So basically the indicator, this is this line, you see red, red line and uh, blue line. So it's showing us like prediction of the next bar and based on that in building for a small tendency, you see? So this is the impulse. For example, if it's blue line, it's showing the impulse will go up and the impulse will show down. But when we create it, you know, we found a lot of noise. So what what I mean in the words of noise that not every time it's working like that. For example, here it's still showing, okay, it will go up. It went up, but then it will also show in blue, but was going down. The same here, indicator was showing that it will go down, impulse down, but it was just range on the market, you know? So sometimes it was showing everything exactly in the proper way, but in different cases, there was no exact information because you know, one, pa one point, what kind of information, what we are getting and totally different point, how we can convert it to, to the plus. But in some period of time, when I start watching on it, identifying some connections or maybe these connections between the current price and pre prediction of our indicator, I found, that it's really working nice with divergence and convergence. Why? When the market is going up and indicators like and our indicator based on showing that based on his prediction, the price will go down. It's amazing option to sell. And as you can see here, almost every time in 95% when it's showing you that the price will fall down, it will go down at least a little bit, but it will be in plus. Check here. You see it's showing. Here is good option to, to sell. Two bars went down. Here it showed. You see, nothing happened here. Like if we're talking in perspective of technical analysis, but because of our prediction, because of our neural network is showing, we should sell here. And you see two bars went in our direction. And by the way, it's H1. You can use this indicator of any time frame. but I'm just showing you the example. And we can go and I can show you many examples like that. You see here, buy. The market going down, but it's showing buy because there is difference between the indicator and actual price. And it went up, buy again, went up. Of course, there is some also options that it will, it will show you not proper signal. But for example, here, look at this current situation, buy. We can see like how we can buy when it's almost in the top of the price for a long time it's going up. But at least see, it show us up and price went up, then sell down buy up sell good movement down so i still didn't discover it on 100 person and that's why i'm telling you take this indicator test it and if you will bring me good idea how to trade i will create the trading bot for you for free
So guys, thanks for watching this video. I hope you understood the main idea and the focus that right now I'm trying to go in, you know, to creating something new, special, modern, that will give us chance to generate a profit for a long, long period of time. This is video part one, because in the second part, I will show you the trading board that we did, what kind of trading strategy I put there inside, risk management, money management, and what kind of results I'm getting from the back test. Thanks for watching this video and see you in our next one.